So when we first started working with Napa, they were asking about technology and VR. And I said, no, no, no don't worry about the technology. Mm -hmm. Let me understand what your problem is first. Let's really dive into that. Mm -hmm. And so we went to auto repair shops and we talked to them and turned out that entry level technicians, they do your brake jobs and wheel alignment and all of that kind of work. Mm -hmm. It actually accounts for about 80% of the revenue of a, a repair shop. Mm -hmm. But they can't find them because they're normally young people. The workers are aging out. And it takes it takes two years to train a CTEC. Mm -hmm. So if we could reduce the amount of time that it takes to train a CTEC from two years down to what we ultimately did, 25 days, mm -hmm. you could ramp up younger people and also use all of this technology that they would be really excited about and get them to work faster. Virtual reality can show people what they need to know, and we can test people inside the headset. Mm -hmm. We use mixed reality. Mixed reality allows you to use real tools mm -hmm. because in a technician's world, it's often just like the angle of the instrument or, or the it's the full spatialized context of what you're doing. It's the feeling or the sound, like when something clicks or the mm -hmm. even the viscosity of an oil or, or what you know, whatever, it's so much more embodied. So if you're just playing a video game mm -hmm. or if you're just in the digital realm, that's not enough. Mm -hmm. But with mixed reality, you can actually look through the device mm -hmm. and you can use your real hands and real tools in a real situation.